like. Brian, how's it going? Good to see you. Finally, the video there. So it's good to see you. <laughs> We're working. I promise. Yet. I promise. And you have three little ones. Is that in? Is that right? out here? Right. <laughs> She's a metal one. What did you say? She's a metal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, hey everybody, I have Brian Kluth here today and we're talking about ways that you can bless your pastor. And this is something that Linda and I have really been interested in. Um, we have always had a heart for our staff in particular, mm -hmm. but also our pastors and our church staff. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about some of the challenges because you were a pastor for a decade yeah. um, that pastors face and why um, this campaign you're putting together is something that you know we should get behind. Yeah, I, uh, the uh, I think the big thing is most people don't realize that pastors struggle financially. I mean, they put something in the plate, and there's this kind of innate assumption that the board probably takes care of the pastor, yeah. and they do to the best of their ability. But but uh, only one percent of pastors are in churches of over a thousand. Yeah. Okay. And so so what is it now? So 50, eighty percent are under two hundred people. Okay. And 55% are under 100. That's so a small the, church. <laughs> those are small churches, yeah. yeah. And that's the majority of churches yeah. in America. Yeah. So, uh, and then 50% of pastors have uh, make less than 50,000 a year, even though they're working all the time yeah. and had schooling and all that. And then the other thing is 60% uh, uh, no retirement, no health care, no benefits from the church. So unbeknownst to most Christians, the pastors are kind of struggling, but they don't really know. They, they can't really say too much. Yeah, yeah. It's well, and they can't, they can't go up on Sunday morning and say that. <laughs> no, and, you no know, they can't. Like it, <laughs> and so it's just a struggle that a lot of them are bearing um, quietly. Yeah, right? yeah, very, yeah, I call it suffering in silence. Yeah, there you go. You know, the pastor and the wife, they're just like, well, we're serving God. We're serving our people. We'll just kind of try to make it work. And yeah. that's the struggle. And, and so the Bless Your Pastor kind of really kind of works around that and really tries to engage Christians and church boards to really step up and do some pretty amazing things. All right. So let's talk about some of the practical things um, that anybody can do to bless their pastor. Let's just start can, diving into a few. Sure, of yeah. Uh, one is pray. I mean, yeah. it, we just need to say that, but, but it's real. I always say, if you, want a better, uh, if you want a better pastor, pray for the one you've got. Yeah. Yeah. Prayer, prayer will help shape that person to become a better person and a pastor. Uh, and they need the prayer and you need the practice. I tell yeah. people. <laughs> so. And that's so true. Like I think about, uh, you know, this is a lesson I learned with yeah. my wife, Linda. Yeah. Um, you know, because for so many years when you get, begin, get married, you're like, okay, there's this issue with my wife that I would love to see changed. And at least for me, I try to do it in the flesh, try yeah. to do it in my own strength, try to do it by nagging, whatever. <laughs> That doesn't work, no. you know, but prayer does. And I've seen this time and time again yeah. where I will pray for something that she's doing that's bothering me or whatever. Yeah. And inevitably that thing will change or the thing in me changes. Yeah, you know, a ch either, yeah, one way. Way, either way, either way yeah. there's a change. Yeah. And so prayer is really critical. So I had a woman in my church, she was like 88 years old. And she would come up and say, Pastor, here's what I pray for you every day. Wow. And she had a list. And wow. she would say, what do you want me to add to the list? Yeah. And I would like, it was a great list. So I added a few things, but we put that in the, this brush flyer, yeah. you know, 16 ways to pray for your pastor, yeah. you know, marital intimacy, uh, mm -hmm. spiritual, spiritual time with God, uh, help in the sermon prep, finances, provisions, you know, their child, you know, being parenting, you know, their parenting yeah. skills. How do you pray for your pastor? They need the prayer. And so one of the things we want people to do is really engage in prayer for their pastor. Yeah. And, and it's really their pastor and their spouse and the family and church staff members. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. all of that. Yeah, that's yeah. great. All right, well, let's keep going. What else? Uh, one thing I like to tell people is uh, uh, gift cards are just mm -hmm. like an amazingly good way to bless your pastor. Simple, quick, easy. Yeah, yeah. quick, easy, but game changer. So uh, I was with a pastor a while back. They did not go out on a date for a year. They, they went out on two dates in an entire year, and it was because they didn't have child care. They had three yeah. kids. You, yeah. know, you have three kids. You know. Yeah. <laughs> so, know. <laughs> and it was $60 for child care, and all they could do was afford to go to Starbucks. Yeah. So they only went out twice. So when you get a pastor a uh, Starbucks card, gas card, grocery card, Lowe's, Home Depot, uh, you know, restaurant, fast food, absolutely will bless your pastor. And it's 
something that anybody can do, yeah. whether it's $10, 25, 50, 100, whatever it is, it's really a great way to really bless a pastor and stay, and, and yeah. their family. Yeah, and it's going to get used. It's going, to, know, it's it's going not, to get used, it's yes. It's not going to be wasted. Like, you know, because I, I would watch our pastor at Christmas time, and I'm curious if you had this experience, yeah. but they'd get all kinds of gifts, which was great, um, but a lot of them, like, I could tell because I knew my pastor really well. We were yeah. in church a long time. I could tell he's not going to be interested in that. But, you know, you know, you obviously have to accept the gift and yeah. do it graciously. And, you know, right. but am I right? Like, no, a you're lot right. of gifts come from a lot of different Some types of Some gifts aren't people. gifts. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so one of my, my little story I had, so I had a wife who had cancer. And uh, it was a tough journey, but people were bringing us food. Mm -hmm. All right. So they brought us food. Well, some food isn't that great. So you got young kids, they don't yeah. like it. So then you have to answer the question, how do you, what do you say to the person when they say, how'd you like the food? So we came up with the, the, <laughs> the answer was, food like that doesn't last long in our house, <laughs> which was true. <laughs> and then they would thank me because they yeah. thought I, we loved yeah. it so much. But so there are gifts that aren't gifts. Well, yeah, and that's a whole nother <laughs> element of trickiness of the you know, question behind the gift and the follow up and mm -hmm. yeah, wow. <laughs> anyway, all right. Okay, so gift cards. Um, all right, what else? Uh, another big thing is services. Anything that somebody can do, uh, you know, someone does tax returns, they are a beautician, a barber, a doctor, a lawyer, mm -hmm. uh, anyone who has a profession, uh, if you offer that service, not a discount, oh, we'll give you 20% off, Pastor. No. Yeah. Offering that yeah. service to the pastor and the, and the spouse or the staff is a really, really huge benefit because a lot of times they can't afford services and it's really a big help. But even something as simple as cutting the grass. Yeah. Pastor works 50, 60, 70 hours a week. If somebody steps up yeah. and just says, hey, pastor, I'll take care of that or we'll plant flowers in your garden. I mean, just any kind of a service thing you can do for a pastor or staff member is just huge. That, yeah. That's a big, big thing. I remember, I actually remember that. Um, pastor the church we were at in st louis actually i believe somebody snuck over to their house and while they're on vacation or something like just planted all these flowers and did all this stuff yeah. and, and yeah. we heard about it in the service yeah. you know and i had so. a pastor recently telling me he was telling me that 10 people did that once at his house yeah. and it happened 25 years ago yeah. and he was crying this is like three months ago wow. he was crying 25 years later over the fact that people came his wife was bedridden at the time yeah. with a, a pregnancy and, and people came from his Bible study group and just took totally took care of the garden and the yard. Yeah. And he was crying 25 years later yeah. by how That's touched so he was. Yeah. Okay, so what else? Uh, another thing, if people have vacation homes or timeshares yeah. or mileage yeah. points. Yeah. I mean, that's a re I mean, pastors frequently cannot travel. Their families cannot take a vacation. And if somebody offers them get a place to stay for vacation or gives yeah. them mileage points, it, it completely changes uh, the dynamic for that yeah. couple, for that family, or for that pastor. Even going yeah. to conferences. Sometimes they can't go to national pastors' conferences because they can't afford to get there. And if somebody steps up, that's a really, really big one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. That's really cool because we, we've gotten a whole bunch of points, uh, my wife and I on some of our credit cards, and we've been able to, you know, fly other people places to places. Yeah. And that, and it, it doesn't even feel like money. You know, it is a form of currency, but yeah. it's like, it doesn't really feel like it. Yeah. So it's so much easier to give. Um, so that's a great idea. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. And I, just recently I did, I got the Southwest credit card yeah. thing going. Yeah. So I got all the points like in a free companion pass. Mm -hmm. So just yesterday I emailed my pastor. He's always said, because I work out of, I live in Denver, but work out of, I mean, my office, the national office is in D.C. And my pastor said, I really want to go to Washington, D.C. with you sometime, share the hotel yeah. room. And now I have a Southwest Companion yep. Pass, and he can come for free. Yep. So the hotel's paid for, and the, the flight's paid for, and all he has to do is come with me for a couple yeah. of days, and he's going to check out D.C., and that's something I could do to yeah. bless my pastor. Yeah, very cool. Love that. Yeah. All right, you got one more for us? Oh, I, I think the other thing is sharing what you have. Uh, at my church recently, our worship pastor announced they were going to have a birthday party for their for their one-year-old, but they didn't have a house big enough for it. And we have a house with a big yeah. uh, deck. So we hosted 40 people at our house. Yeah. So wow. we did that. And then we actually gave the little girl, the one-year-old, we gave them a cash gift to open up a 529 college fund. Yeah. Because as cool. like 24-year-olds, they're not thinking like about that. Yeah. 
And so that was a fun idea for us to host them and then also to, you know, to give this child a gift card. Yeah. I'm not a gift card, a college fund gift. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, so the interesting thing about all this is, well, let me, let me step back. So you created something with 50 ways. Yeah. So you have a PDF people can download. Right that can just continue to, you know, let some ideas percolate. Mm -hmm. And what I love about this, I mean, because I think it's just a good starter for people to, who maybe don't have any great ideas on how to do it other than just give money, mm -hmm. you know, but I'm assuming you have plenty of different ways in oh, yeah. there yes. that don't require exactly. money. And using a little bit of creativity, mm -hmm. you know, we can all go out and bless our pastors. And um, yeah. anyway, and it's something that is so necessary. I, I'm really glad that you're doing this. I applaud you for doing this because... Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been in, really been in three main churches over the last, really over the whole time I was a Christian, okay. and uh, I've seen some of the struggle and some of the challenge, and mm -hmm. I, yeah, I'm just really glad you're doing it, and I, I think we just all need to step up and, I don't know, make a concerted effort to yeah, move yeah. forward in this direction. Yeah, and that's the hope, and so there's free materials on the blessyourpastor.org website, okay. the 50 ways list, but we also have a seven-minute video for the church board, okay. because the pastor can't ask for this. Yeah. It has to be Christians and the church board doing it, so the, the board just watches the video, they just make copies of the flyer, they send it out, and we're encouraging churches to also take a pastor appreciation offering. Okay. At my church, I took a, this big pay cut, but they did an annual Christmas offering. So I got, my, myself and staff, we got 500 to $1,500 every Christmas, yeah. and that was a huge help to us, a uh, really, really big help. And so and the cool thing is because this is a grant-related project, Every church that does that and tells us they did it will give the pastor a gift card. That's great. $150 gift card. Great. Just because the church did it and we're applauding that, that they did it yeah. and we want to get in on the blessing. Yeah. All right. So board leaders, um, any congregants go to blessyourpastor.org, yep. right? Yep. Exactly. Okay. And, and pastors and church staff can also go because we do have some free resources for them. Yeah. Okay. The specific, if their church does this or not, we have some materials that will help them. Okay, great. All right. Well, this is really helpful. Appreciate it. And for anybody watching, okay. let's go out and let's do it. Let's make some sort of effort um, in the next couple of weeks to yeah. bless our pastors and to do something. That'd be all right. great. All right. All right. That's all for now. Take care. Hey. Have God a great bless. Day. And if you haven't already, head over to seedtime.com so you can get your free email course from us on how to master your money using biblical principles. So that's all for today. Have a great rest of your day. Adios.